Hello, hello, hello everyone, what is going on? This is Kirito Sparta, and on today's video, I'm going to be analyzing the oldest and newest games in the franchise known as Metal Gear. First and foremost, Metal Gear is a series of action and adventure stealth video games created by Haido Kojima and developed and published by Konami. The first video game, Metal Gear, was released for MSX home computers and the NES. The game is classified by Tristan Donovan as an action game with a little bit of a mixture of platformer inside it too. The game was released on 1987, which was the year when New Zealand's labor government legislates against nuclear weapons and nuclear powered vessels in New Zealand. All, this was the only nation to legislate against nuclear power at that time. The latest release was Metal Gear Survive, an action-adventure survival game developed and published by Konami. The game seen in Tristan Donovan's view would be classified as an action game with a mixture of the use of a sandbox element. The game was released worldwide for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One in February 2018. 2018 was the year which America experienced the immigration crisis. Also to note, Metal Gear Survive is the first Metal Gear game made after Kojima left Konami. In the game Metal Gear, the player often takes control of a special forces operative usually known as Solid Snake or later in the series known as Big Boss. He is tasked of finding a super weapon known as Metal Gear which is a bipedal walking tank with the ability to launch nuclear weapons. In the latest game of the series, Metal Gear Survive, the game takes place between the events of Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes and Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain, and follows a MSF captain who enters a parallel dimension and establishes a local command center to unravel the mysteries of a strange virus that turns people into zombie-like creatures. Now then, let's analyze the games individually. The oldest game, Metal Gear, was driven a lot by stealth mechanics. However, as you would imagine, the brand of sneaking and s silent takedowns was served in a much humbler set of clothes while a lot of the game was just trial and error. Thankfully enough, you don't have to just sneak all the way through in Metal Gear. You can also go full guns blazing if that's what suits you. And that approach just works very much the same as just sneaking around. It's all how you would like to approach it. The game was initially released for consoles for the Nintendo Entertainment System and thus control-wise as well as graphic-wise the DOS version feels just like the original NES. The game translates into a simple 8-bit graphic-like view as well as simple controls. So while the game is definitely reminiscent of top-down shooters from the 8-bit era, it has enough variety, especially due to the silent takedowns and sneaking. So it feels more original and better produced overall than most of its siblings in the franchise. Now to the latest game, Metal Gear Survive, which is a spin-off from the main Metal Gear Solid 5 story that takes place in a strange alternative universe. It allows you to create your own character and learn basically just to survive. You basically scavenge for resources, craft weapons, build up a base camp, and explore the unknown while developing the survival skills necessary in the hostile environment that you're put in. In co-op mode, assembling a team of four players is basically required for the set of difficulty for the co-op mode, so you can infiltrate and defend areas from hordes of creatures. You can place fortifications and defensive weapons strategically anywhere in the area to give you an advantage against every intensifying enemy that you meet. 
and teamwork and resourcefulness is basically key in this fast-paced co-op mission mode as well. Now after analyzing both games, I conclude that Metal Gear under Kojima Productions had always a balance of mundane and magic, military paranoia, and freakish science fiction altogether. It was balanced, but the balance has never been tipped in one direction as seen in Metal Gear Survive. Whereas in Metal Gear, it's often silly and Survive immediately turns not only just cheesy, but like awkward and it's it just rarely stops and the reason that the game has changed was due to not only the kojima wasn't in charge of making the game but konami in this instance wanted to make it around more survival and sci-fi horror which was involving zombies plus in konami's eyes they wanted to make an easy buck from a game that had kojima's title on it Without involving him, they thought it would be a, a good money grab, uh, so to speak. Although that was a big mistake because Metal Gear Survive was graded the third worst video game in 2018 and had a mixed rating in general. It was pretty bad. Well, ending on that note, that pretty much sums it up, guys. And that's all the time we have for today's video. Thank you everyone for staying to the end and hope all of you have a good rest of your day. See you all next time. Bye!